Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on the Sephora Friends and Family event that they had going on and pretty much it was 20% off your entire purchase and that ended on the 5th I think and they also have going on if you're a VIP, VIB, if you're a VIB you got in the mail this little thing and says I'm dreaming of Sephora and you open it up and it's the VIB holiday shopping event, 20% off your entire purchase, November 10th through 14th. So it's in store and Sephora.com. So that's also coming up too, which I may go in and look and just, you know, think about if I'm going to get anything for any of my friends that it'd be cool to use this. But anyway, so what I got with the friends and family event, which is 20% off your entire purchase, was... I got two backups of my two favorite liquid and powder foundation, which is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Liquid, good for oily skin. My shade is 35. And I got the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder, pressed powder, and my shade is 203. So I got backups for that because I figure eventually I'm going to need it, so I might as well get it for 20% off. I got a backup. So this is the Deep Pore Cleansing for the Clarisonics new. I wanted to try it, and you always need backups of these anyway, so I figured I'd get the, try the new one out. And pretty much, I think it's supposed to be more abrasive, but I'm not sure. As soon as I try it out, I'll let you know. Three samples I got was the Clinique Acne Solutions, the Oil Control Cleansing Mask, and the Liquid Makeup. That was the one sample and the Perfect Matte Body Perfecting Gel and Tan, so it's like a good self tanner. And the Billy Jealousy Combination Code Face Moisturizer with Green Tea and Aloe Vera. Next thing I got, which I've always kind of wanted, figured 20% off, I don't need it, but I've wanted it, is the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeshadow Pencil Stash, which if you've ever watched any of my other videos before I rave about these pencils. And it's $35. And you get five, and actually, luckily, all five of them. I don't have it. I don't have these shades of any of them, and they're just a little bit smaller. And to show what the regular size, this is what the sample size is, and this is the real size. So if you can see that, the same thickness, just a little bit longer. They're actually almost the exact same length because if you look at it, I will take one of them out. Down at the bottom, there's that little line like right here, and it's about an inch from the bottom. That, I'm going to guess, is not really part of the pencil, that whole inch. And on the sample ones and the ones in the, in the value pack, it's only a really small, like a quarter of an inch part of it. So if you line up the two parts where they should be, where there's no pencil, I'll take the top off of this one since you can't really see it. If you line the two up, it's really only about a half an inch more product than the full size one. The full size ones, I'm pretty sure, are like 20 to 22 dollars. And for half an inch more, you get five of them for 35. So it seems like a pretty good deal to me. I've always wanted to try the NARS Bronzing Powder in Laguna. So I bought that to give that a try. They say there's like flexes in it, like a little bit of a shimmer in it. However, when I looked at it, I don't remember that being the case. It looks fairly matte to me, but we'll see. The last two things that I bought, I bought based off of the Allure magazine about two months ago to a month ago. They did the uh, like 120 best products for every category. And for the best self tanner, they rated the St. Topaz Bronzing Lotion Self Tanner, which pretty much means it's a lotion with, with bronzer in it so you can see where you're putting it. But it also has the self tanner in it, so like in four hours you'd have a tan. And they also rated the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Alpha Beta Glow Pads as the best face self tanner. So they're anti-aging exfoliating self tanner with active vitamin B. 
So they're individual little packets. I bought the 20 one. 20% 20 off. I figured I might as well buy the more expensive one in case I liked it. So we'll see how those go. I will probably do a review on them once I try them out for a little longer. Um, the self-tanner I probably won't get to right away because I do have leftover self-tanners that I like to finish my products before I start new ones. But once I start trying things out that I or that are new for me, I will definitely do a review on it. And um hope you guys enjoyed that and I will talk to you guys later.